Mississippi will fly a new flag and have a new method of voting for statewide offices. 12 News' Gary Burton joins us in studio now to discuss how these decisions impact the future of the Magnolia State. Gary? Yeah, Mississippi voters have never elected a black candidate to statewide office despite having one of the largest proportional black populations of any U.S. state. But after this election, the chances of that happening has increased tremendously with the adoption of House Concurrent Resolution number 47. Mississippi was one of the only states with an electoral college type of voting process for electing statewide positions like governor, attorney general, and secretary of state. It was very important to get rid of the old Jim Crow law. Designed during the Jim Crow era, the law was intended to eliminate minority voters and uphold white power in politics. If you had an African American who ran at the time and who was able to secure a majority of the, of the popular vote, they would never uh, get the votes in the Mississippi House of Representatives. On the 2020 ballot was House Concurrent Resolution number 47, which was adopted, changing the process so that to win a statewide office, all you need is majority vote. Also on the ballot, House Bill 1796, where Mississippians voted yes to the In God We Trust flag. This is a bright moment in history. Choctaw Tribal Chief Cyrus Ben, one of the state flag commissioners, says he was unsure as to how the state would react. It, there was a lot of optimism uh, going to election day, and of course, as the results were coming in on Tuesday evening, it was a great joy uh, to be able to see, you know, the state embrace this. Senator Simmons says he knows that Mississippi ancestors are looking down on the state with a smile, saying, We knew one day all of our efforts will pay off because Mississippi is moving forward. And the new flag still has to go through one more vote from lawmakers during the 2021 session before it officially flies from government buildings. For 12 News, I'm Gary Burden. Back to you.